my favourite pen has just run out of ink and um, I really like this pen so I went online to order some more and found that in Japan they sell a similar pen made by Pilot. This is the Pilot V-Sign pen and they do a version of this in Japan which is used for writing kanji characters and it, it has the same sort of fibre tip and they call it a brush pen. And it's available in various uh, colours and styles, I obviously just prefer black. And the Japanese one has a cream coloured body with Japanese symbols of it, which I thought was nice, so I ordered the ones from Japan. However, in the meantime, I don't have a pen, and you may notice that this one has a link, uh, a link, an ink reservoir here, which is unusually clean, because I've had it open already, because it turns out this is a really messy thing to do. But you can refill it. Initially I thought it'd be quite nice to get the inkjet refill ink, and the little rubber stoppers that you actually get with the inkjet refill kits, and drill a hole in the end of the pen and fill it with ink and put the rubber stopper in that way. Whenever I need to refill it, just pop the stopper out, refill with ink, put the stopper in, sorted. But it turns out that uh, the pen is slightly deceptive because there's an end cap in there. And the if you tried filling that with ink, it would only go down to a barrier down here because that isn't part of the ink reservoir. The ink reservoir ends virtually at the bottom of this barcode. It's just um, really small. It's a, it takes about half the space of the barrel of the pen, which is slightly disappointing. Um, it spoils the idea of actually refilling it, uh, other, unless I uh, drilled a hole in the side and put the bung in. But, you know, that could get quite messy. So here's how you take these pens to bits. You get a pair of pliers and you grip the tip here. And the first bit that comes out is the actual fibre and tip part of the pen, and this would normally make a huge mess, but I have emptied this pen out uh, completely and cleaned it um, when I started refilling it and uh, I just thought it would be quite good to do a wee video uh, showing how this is done. So then this bit inside comes out, and this is an interesting bit because this is um, a series of plastic discs that make a close fit to the barrel. And the plastic discs have a channel up the side, but I think if this is designed to let air in as the um, the ink going down the fibre tips sort of draws a vacuum in the, sort of the body at the top. And if ink tries to find its way down here and to stop it spilling out the pen, it uh, seems to get caught in these sort of like very fine discs. So that's uh, quite interesting. So let's uh, now we've taken those off. I shall undo this and fill this up with ink to about I won't fill it right up to the point it's actually going to squirt out explosively when I stick that little bit of plastic back in I think I'll stop about 5 mil short of that OK, that looks pretty good Then I'll push this back in, and click it back down, then I'll put the fibre back in, and click it back down, and then, theoretically, after this has uh, been allowed to wick for a while, that ink should come down, and uh, it should start writing properly again, so that should be interesting to find out. I'll leave a note in the um, description of the video just to tell you how well it worked. Although I do actually see the ink just appears to have appeared at the end, I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it has. That's it back 100% in operation, producing nice thick black lines again. How is this going to be for smudging? Good for smudging. That's good. Good result. Well, that's that pen back in action.